Hi, Roxy. Good evening. You. How are you? I'm here on time. <laughs> you're driving. Uh, Did you say yeah. you're driving? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Wow, you're multitasking. <laughs> you okay. know, do, you, do you know what multitasking means? Yes. Okay, so you're multitasking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, and are you almost home? No. I I'm working, I'm working in the morning and tomorrow we um leaving. Leaving to two sorry. Two sorry in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So you're gonna be you're going to be leaving work earlier tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Mm, uh, days days ago or until today, we leave our work at twelve. Just in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. So you're going to have uh, almost the the afternoon off. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Well, no, you... no, not really off because we have to work from here. Oh, okay. Until okay. five. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, but it's a, at least it's a change of scenery, right? At least, yes. at least you yeah. are able to. I don't know be a little bit more comfortable you can go home and put on some comfortable clothes and work yeah. from home right yeah that's true yeah but i think that the teleworking <laughs> yeah is for me is is um i don't really like because no. a lot of interruption we have in here yeah. outside of the house the dogs our people yeah you know and different things that we have to make at home absolutely yeah mm -hmm. you're right it's a challenge it's a really yes. it's a challenge yes. but um what you do have to something i think you have to understand and and remember mm -hmm. is that you it's that you need to find a way to separate work from your yes. personal life from your mm -hmm. family and everything so if you have like a place where you're quiet, you know, where no one, like maybe um, a broom where you can work and that no one interrupts you um, mm -hmm. and, and know that you're not in that moment, you're not a mom, you're not a wife, you're not uh, the uh, housewife or, you know, doing the, the, the house chores, you're just working, you're simply working. Yeah. It's almost like you're not there, right? Yeah, that's true. But, but, but I, I, I prefer, prefer to go to, to my office. office. <laughs> yeah, I understand. It, it's, yeah. For me mm -hmm. also, it's been a challenge. Uh, I'll yeah. be very honest. It's been very mm -hmm. challenging to change to this new format of, of working. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Fishing in English. And you work in, 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 in presential? No, it's not no, presential, the world. No, 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 uh, no I, I don't have face-to-face -face classes, no. Ah, no. just Every, virtual. Everything is, um, yeah, virtual, mm. everything. So okay. I'm at home working the whole day from mm -hmm. my computer. And by the end of the day, I'm telling you that I don't want to see my, I don't want to see the computer anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's, it's, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm from the very uh, early hours of the morning, I'm connected mm -hmm. and I'm watching the screen and uh, yeah, so it's, it's a little bit tough, but yes. yeah, definitely something that um, I think is important. Like when I started working uh, virtually, uh, mm -hmm. Some something that they they emphasized was um, you gotta separate your your life, you know, from yes, um, that's true. like completely your your and and educate your family mm -hmm. to understand that you're at home working, but you're not home f free. You're not you're not mm -hmm. there to solve problems or to answer mm -hmm. questions or yeah. no, you're just. You're there, but you're not there. You're invisible, right? So, <gasps> okay. it's tough. yeah, wow. I know. 
But um, mm -hmm. so right now, how far away are you from your house? Yeah. To my job? Uh, no, no, no. Right no. now, you're because you're driving right now, right? Mm hmm. But uh, <laughs> maybe I don't understand the question. Okay, right now you are driving, right, to your house? Uh huh. Ah, uh, yeah. The time. How far? How far away ah, from your house are you? Uh -huh. Are you like five minutes, ten minutes away from your house? Thirty ten minutes? minutes. Ten minutes. Two minutes away from your house. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You're very yeah. close. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I live, I live near, near the zoo, zoo. and oh. I walk deck, so it's, it's not too far. Yeah, that's yeah. actually okay. So you you um you live by the the zoo, mm -hmm. and um, zoo. and you and where do you work, Roxy? La Tecnológica. Oh yeah, that's not it's far. Closer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's pretty uh -huh. good. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, well, we have, we have, um, more students now. Hi, Daniel yeah. and Jose. Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Okay, Daniel, you're going to have to make the change again because, um, the same effect, the same impacted effect. <laughs> no, we can't hear you. Yes, okay. I am fine, thank you, teacher. I don't know what happened with this microphone. It's in the, like on the jail. Yeah, well, you know what though? Um, I can tell you something that if you are, if you ever um, want to uh, work in a movie, <laughs> for, to be like a um, scary movie, yeah, <laughs> a scary movie, <laughs> yeah, something like that, then it would be, a, it would, you, you would, you would qualify. <laughs> you, you yes. have the voice, you have it right. Um, yes, I, I never I, hear me my, myself, but uh, somebody told me that is very nice. <laughs> um, you know what you can do to see how you sound? You can watch the videos, the videos on, on YouTube, the ones that, that we, we upload. Watch the video and you will hear yourself. Okay. <laughs> it's actually very ah, interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I look, I look tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Okay. Um, Josue, how are you? Hello, I'm doing good. Thank good, you. good, good. We've missed you these days. Oh yeah, I got that joint. I have some uh, some homework. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, that happens. It's okay, but we're glad that you're able to join us. We're we're glad about that. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but it's been a good a, a good week. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so far, yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Excellent. We're, we're halfway through the week, so that's very good. Right? We're almost done. We just have, you know, two more days to go. So we can make this. We can do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Barbara, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good. And how was your day today? Yeah, very busy because it's the last day of the month, so there there are a lot of work to do. Yeah, I, I saw in the chat that there's some people that won't be able to make it today because it's, since it's the last day of the week, um, there's always lots of things to do at work, right? Yeah, it's probably, is, is, yeah. is it very busy for uh, like at work in your... Uh, your work, your workplace is a very busy on on the thirtieth of the month. Yes, because everybody wants to 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 meet the deadlines and goals. 
Of course, de yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Well, um, hey, yeah. but I am glad that that um, even though you're, you know, you had a hard day at work, but you still connected, and I really appreciate that because that way you're you're able to uh, practice, you know. And and I think that you should you should feel this time not so much like a work, but more like um, something to just like a free time to forget about all of your day at work and just, you know, do something different. So let's yes. try to enjoy the class, Barbara. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and Carmen, how are you, Carmen? Hi, you? Good, good. We, we, we did miss you yesterday, but we are happy that you are here today. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, how was your day today at work? Um, really was very busy. I can imagine. Yeah. But hey, today is payday, right? Woo! Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's something to be happy about everybody. So you probably had a hard day at work uh, today, but hey, at least you got paid today. Good. Yes. Okay, guys, so uh, what we're going to do is the following. Um, remember yesterday I asked you guys to write for homework three um, exercise, sorry, three sentences, right? Uh, the sentences had to be in the infinitive and gerund phrase form. And two of those sentences had to be true, and one of those sentences had to be false, right? Remember that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Daniel, were you able to do them? I, I guess, guess so, so, teacher. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. And uh, Roxy also, I just, right? Yeah. I just was doing it right now. <laughs> Okay. Well, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, and Roxy, you did it yours, right, as well? Yes. Okay. I, I, I sent. Yeah, you sent them to me. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, I remember you sent it to me. Um, let's see. Um, Barbara, were you, able, were you able to do the exercises? Or better said, not the exercises, the sentences. Barbara, are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, she might have, she might be having uh, connection problems. Okay, that's not a problem. Okay, and uh, Carmen, did you do the the exercises or the sentences I asked? No, not teacher. No. Okay. Okay. Um, Josue, did you do it? Did you do the? Oh uh, no, I think I'm not in the group yet. Oh, okay. Yes, Josue, that's right. I um, yeah. Uh, the first day of class, you were telling me about that, and I told you that I was going to uh, find out for you. Turns out that what they told me was that you have a email that was sent to you with all of the information. You have a link there to join the group. Okay, so if you go to the if you go to the um, the email, you will see that there is a, a link for the WhatsApp. And what you can do is you can either open it up from your phone, right? Or you, if you're doing it on the computer, you can have like um, a WhatsApp web. And you can do it with WhatsApp web, and then it will automatically uh, add you to the group. So if you can check that out and um, and then see if maybe you can you can join during the class. Okay. Hi, Selena. Okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. You? 
Good, good. I have a question for you, Selena. Is that picture of your family? The one you have yes. in the back? Oh, yes. very nice. So let, let me see. You have two. I children? have two children. Oh, okay. two daughters. Two daughters. Oh, very nice. And my husband. Okay. So there's four of you. It was. It, it, it was Antigua, Guatemala. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, they, they've they always told me that Antigua, Guatemala is a beautiful place. Okay, yeah. Oh, so nice. Mm -hmm. Very, Thank very you. nice. Yeah, you have a beautiful family. Yeah, Thank I, you. Uh, I want to go to Antigua, Guatemala, sorry, Antigua, Guatemala one day. Maybe when all of the COVID thing is over, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Let me see who else. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's it. All right. So, um, Selena, did you do the homework? Um, no. No? Okay, but did you understand? I, uh -huh. I, I did all you the platform ah okay okay i understand all right okay so what we're gonna do then since not everybody did the homework we're gonna do something we're gonna start with the people that did do the homework okay and we're going to start um listening to their their sentences while we are listening to their sentences i want the other people that haven't done their homework to write down the sentences. I will repeat the instructions. The instructions are write three sentences using gerund and infinitive phrase. Now, one sentence can be with a gerund phrase, another sentence with the infinitive phrase, and the last one with another infinitive phrase. It doesn't really matter. You decide. Now, those three sentences have to be about you but only two are going to be true. And one, one of them is gonna be false. So you're gonna write three sentences about yourself. Only one is going to be true. Sorry, one is gonna be false. And the other two are gonna be true. What we are gonna do as a class is try to figure out which one is the false sentence. Okay? so. Are the instructions clear for everybody? Yes, clear. Yeah? Okay, wonderful. All right, so we're gonna start, um, let's say, uh, let's start with Roxy. Since I know for sure Roxy did the exercise. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, Roxy, read the first uh, sentence for us. Okay. Uh, I dislike wedding when I meet someone for a date. Uh, this sentence is, is using Jerry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number two, my mother kept talking during the movie. I was upset. Okay, good. Number three, my daughter decided to study international relationship at university. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna stop you there for a moment, Roxy, just because mm -hmm. you already have three sentences there. In mm -hmm. those three sentences that you gave me, is one mm -hmm. of those sentences a false sentence? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, so now it's our, our turn class to try to figure out which of those sentences is false, is false. For, Ro mm -hmm. for Roxy. Okay. So what do you so maybe Roxy you can you can repeat the three sentences? Okay. Number one. I dislike waiting when I meet someone for a date. Number two. My mother kept talking during the movie and I was upset. Number three. My daughter decided to study international relationship at university. Okay. Number one is false. Number one. Maybe three is false. 
No. <laughs> The false is number two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Yeah. So, so you dislike waiting someone for yeah. meeting. Uh, yeah. When you meet someone for a date, you dislike uh, yeah. waiting for them. Yeah. Okay. And my daughter. All right. She's and studying daughter, international she's studying relationship. International. Okay. Okay. Good. Just a little mm -hmm. correction there, uh, Roxy. Mm -hmm. Instead of mm -hmm. saying international relationships, we would say international affairs. Ah, okay. Okay? Ah, okay. Or okay. international relations. Um, all right. But not yeah. relationships. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, but, you know, relationship, okay. it means another. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rela well, relationships can be like uh, friendships uh -huh. Uh -huh. or family relationships, right? Or things like yeah, that. Right. Okay, so those those ones are true. And number two, my mother ke kept talking mm -hmm. during the movie, and I was upset. That's and the I one that was a that was incorrect. Yeah, it's false. Okay, <laughs> it's false. It's false. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, but if 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 your mom was talking during the movie, I would understand that <laughs> you would be upset. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Roxy. Okay, well. Okay, let's see. Um, Daniel, I think you told me that you had you had done the ex the sentences. You're muted, Daniel. Okay, sorry, sorry. I really enjoy eating pupusas in my house. I love buying new clothes in the mall. And I, I prefer to play soccer rather than basketball. Number two is false. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it was too easy. <laughs> why, why, did you, why did you say that number two was false? What, what gave it away? Because the in soccer, <laughs> it's, it's obviously he liked. Okay, so, so you, um, you, couldn't hide, you, you couldn't hide the truth. Daniel, but you know that's that's good because that means that we always know when you're telling the truth. <laughs> okay, good, yes. excellent, Daniel. All right, okay. uh, Carmen, did you do the homework? No, teacher, but I do it now. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, uh, Nuvia, did you do the, the homework? What? Repeat, please, teacher. No, I was asking you if you did the homework. No. I'm okay. ready with my sentence. Okay, okay, no worries, Nuvia. Uh, maybe you can finish off the sentences while we listen to Selena. Okay? Okay. All right, go ahead, Selena. Thank you. The first, I love eating green mangoes with lemon and salt. And salt. Number two, my husband enjoys sleeping on Sunday. And number three, my daughters go out to play with their friends in the park. I guess number one is false. Mm -hmm. I think the number two is false. Roxy is is <laughs> don't, correct don't, answer. Don't, don't, don't give us the answer. Don't give us the answer just okay. yet. Okay, let's see if the others can guess. Maybe Josue, you can give us your opinion. What do you think? Which one is in which one is false for Selena? Number one, 
mangoes. Number two, my husband enjoys sleeping. And number three, my daughters go out to play with their friends in the park. Number two, probably. Okay, so he says number two. What do you, what do the rest say? Do you agree with Josue that's number two? Anybody? What do you guys think? Nuvia, what do you got what do you think? Which one is incorrect for S Selena? One, two, or three? I don't know, teacher. I, I, I be, uh, no, no, sé de qué están hablando. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. All right, okay, not a problem. Selena, then, could you go ahead and tell us which one was the incorrect sentence? Okay, the full sentence is my husband enjoys sleeping on Sundays because he enjoy go go out to play golf. <laughs> oh, your your husband plays golf. Yes. Oh, how interesting. Okay. Do you ever go with him to play golf? Excuse me, can you repeat, please? No, I was asking you if you ever go out to play golf with your husband. Yes, you many times. Too? Many times I go, but I don't a regular player. Ah, okay. But you know My how husband to play. is a federado. But he's, he's I'm what? Federado. Federado. Registering oh, a golf federation. He's in a federation. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Wow. Then he's very good. Yeah, excellent. Okay. All right. Thanks, Alina. All right. Who is ready now? Me, teacher. Wonderful. Go ahead, Carmen. I love watching TV every night. I dislike going to the movies on Sundays. I hate listening to reggaeton music. Can you repeat the, the last one, please? I hate listening to reggaeton music. I think last one. I think number two is, is false. The last one is false. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love reggaeton <Okay>. music. <laughs> wow, my goodness. Like they say in Spanish, quien la mirara. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 teacher. No, number, number three is true. I no. hate you. <laughs> okay. You scared me there for a moment. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Okay. Yes. Well, you know what? You know, we we get surprised by um, by our classmates sometimes, but that's good. Excellent. Okay. Very good, Carmen. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, Josue, Barbara, Nubia, are you ready to share? Okay. I am. Okay, uh, go for it, Josue. Okay. So the first so one, the first one uh, is studying math is something that I do on weekends. The second one, eating spicy food is something that I like. And the last one, I like to play video games. Okay, all right, so let's... Josue, can you repeat the first one, please? Studying math is something that I do on weekends. This is the false. That's true. 
<laughs> because you like to play video games. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> that one. Like to play? Yes. I don't. No, I don't. Number three, four. I don't like to play. Yeah, that one is. Number three, sir. Which one was the which one was the 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 false one? I like to play video games. I don't like. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, so not it, like <laughs> no 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 video games, no computer games, nothing. No, no, no. It's where not, do you where not. do you deal where do you deal uh, study math? University. Where university? Oh, uh, it's Wait. it's kind of <laughs> it's not here. It's in in another country. <laughs> it's a course that I take. So and I like to to check some things like like that stuff. Nice. It's a course of art. Yeah. It, it's not here in El Salvador. Congratulations. Okay, yeah, good for you. Jose is uh, uh, Russian math. No. <laughs> what level it's, of math? Uh, calculus. Integrales y derivadas. Yeah, that one's. <laughs> mm. Wow, look at that. That sounds good, Jose. Oh. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, I'm, um, see, with these things, you learn so much about your classmates, right? So, excellent. All right, guys. Um, okay, great. Uh, Barbara, Nubia, are you ready? Yes, I do. Um, okay, go ahead, Barbara. Um, I don't know why. Uh, when everybody speaks, I hear like a feedback. This is not the exercise, <laughs> it's just a comment. Uh, I no, see, no. Um, may, what about the rest of you? Do you guys hear feedback? Yes, yeah, sometimes I hear a uh, feedback. I think uh, somebody have a, a speaker. Uh, could be, it could be, yeah. Okay, um, my exercise. First, I love reading romantic novels. I start the day running three kilometers at 5 a.m. I would like to take guitar classes. Only three. I guess the number three is false, Barbara. <laughs> Wrong. The number two? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a long distance, I think. Yeah. How, yeah. how long did you say? What this? What was the distance? Three, 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 three kilometers. kilometers. Three kilometers. At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. <laughs> well, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, there are a lot of people that do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's definitely a sacrifice. But, you know, many people do it because uh, they don't have a, another opportunity during the day to, to exercise. So they, they have to get up early. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so Barbara, do you ever get up early to exercise? No, it's so hard for me. <laughs> I and I oh, uh, so I get up very late. <laughs> I see. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, it happens. <laughs> okay. Good. When All I, right. When I, uh, when, I, yeah? when I when I am going to a room going to a room to away away, I have to I have to, to keep the. Keep the the quarter because I have to return have back to return at the bus. Back at the bus. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is that you, what you can do is just go <clears throat> one and a half kilometers, and then one and a half kilometers back. So that's three kilometers, you know. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and forget about the quarter, right? The, the 
yeah, forget about the quarter so that you can you can obligate yourself to come back. You know, you have to get there one way or the other. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, excellent. So I think we got everybody because Nuvia, um, I don't know what happened to Nuvia, but she's not with us anymore. I, I think maybe she was having some connection issues there. Tell us okay. about your teacher. Right, about your teacher. Pardon? Pardon me? Tell us about Tell you. Us about you. Three sentences. Ah, okay. You wanna you want me to give you the um the three sentences that are true. Uh, sorry, three sentences, two that are true and one that is false. Okay, let me see. Um First sentence. Um, Number one is false. false. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Many okay. times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when I was a baby, my mother used to love. It nobody said no. My mother lo um, loved brushing my straight hair. My love. My mom loved brushing my straight hair. Second. Um, when I was in high school, um, I got a scholarship to dance a, at a university, but I didn't continue because I broke my leg and I couldn't continue dancing. Third sentence, when I was two years old, uh, my parents were worried um, to see me falling from the floor, from the stairs and cutting my tongue. Okay, I, I guess number three is false. Number one is false. Okay, yes, so I have one. number one, I have number three. Number one. Number one. Ah, the number last one. one. The last one, number three. Okay, let's make a poll. Who thinks number one? Put up your 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 virtual your virtual hand or your or react if you think it's number one, the one that's false. I heard you say your leg. Aquí veo que los demás le ponen una manita y no sé cómo. Okay, that's okay, Carmen. I I got that you. Okay, so you have. ¿En dónde? En reacciones. Yeah, it says hay hay una partecita que dice reacciones. So you can um, put a like there. There are like six six different icons. You got it. Okay, so, okay, good. You can also raise your hand as well, yeah. Okay, so about four people say number one. Okay, who says number two? Nobody number two? No? Okay, who says number three? Daniel and Selena say number three. Okay. Well, actually, 
Teacher, yeah, I, I say, say number, number one. one. You know, oh, okay, number one. Carmen says number one. Okay, all right. So, turns out that, num that number one is true. <laughs> yes, number one is true. Nobu nobody believes me, but actually my... Um, my hair when i when i was born my hair was straight it was really really straight and then when i was about eight years old approximately when i was eight years old uh the new hair that started to grow here my bangs started to curl up and then little by little my hair started to change so yeah weird weird story but it's the truth yeah okay yeah so that's that one was true and the other one said number three was you said number three was false the three was was cutting my 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 tongue right and that one's also true <laughs> uh number three was also true yes i actually when i was two years old i i cut my tongue um i was coming down from the stairs and when I landed I cut my tongue because my my teeth went did this right it went and went and so I cut my tongue and they had to stitch it up so I, I had got stitches I was about two years old um and I, I they say that I was crying because I was like I don't remember um but they they said that I was crying a lot I got it done I got uh, the stitches done at Hospital Bloom and uh, they said I was crying a lot and then the only way that they made me um, you know be quiet was giving me ice cream so I would love to be ice cream because of course the ice cream one it was very tasty and two it would numb the effect right of the of the of the tongue so um, yeah that one's true so the only one that the one that is actually false is number two <laughs> okay number two yes i i never won a scholarship um to dance at a university i i did dance in high school i i did i was part of um a dance team uh we did four years uh i was in, in that team for four years but i never got a scholarship okay so there you go those are mine <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. I spoke her face. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Okay, so next time you got to be careful. I might I might be lying to you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to actually start a new topic. Um, if you've seen in the platform, there's another topic. Well, there's a listening exercise. Anybody has gotten that far into the list the listen exercise i do i do yeah you did the listen exercise wonderful okay perfect all right because that's actually um the one after the the ones that the exercises that we've been doing about conversation so the next topic we're going to be looking at is reported speech so okay. let me share with you the The PowerPoint presentation here. Um, I want to know, can you see my PowerPoint? Not yet. Not yet? No. Nope. No? Okay, let's just wait a little bit. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, um, okay, so, oops, sorry, my mistake, let's go back, here we go, okay, so it's advanced number two, it's day number seven, um, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, the date is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020, like I said, it's payday, woo! All right, so let's uh, take a look at the objective here. 
Okay, now that I want it to change, it won't change. <laughs> I'm telling technology is funny that way. Okay, there it is. All right, so our objective. Okay, Daniel, can you read the objective for me? Sure. Objective. By the end of this class, participants will understand the use of reported speech. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Daniel. All right, so we're going to be looking at the use of reported speech. Okay, who understands the idea of reported speech? What, what do you understand by that? Tell me, and just open up your microphone and tell me what do you understand by it? Uh, when, we, uh, when we say something that other person said, Something like that. Exactly. That's exactly right. When we say something that another person said. Now, my question is, do you say the exact same thing that the other person said? No. The exact words? Do we use the exact no. words? Mm, no, we didn't. No, right? No. Sometimes we invent. <laughs> Okay, all right, but that's that, that's a different story. That's true, but it's probably a the story. the complement. Yeah, but the main structure, uh, I don't think so. Okay, exactly. All right, so basically, with reported speech, we are the word says that we're reporting. Okay, but we're not saying the exact words that the person said. When we say the exact words, that's called direct speech. Okay. Um, to give an example, um, if I say, for example, if I say, oh, I'm so hot. Whew, it's very hot in here. Then you can say, the teacher said, I am so hot. It's very hot in here. Those are my exact words. That's direct speech. When you say what the other person said, but you use the exact words that the person used, that's direct speech. But normally we don't use direct speech or after the person has said it, we don't use normally direct speech because for the most part, we don't remember exactly what the person said. So we just kind of give the idea of what the person says, right? And that's reported speech. Uh, sorry, someone wanted to say something? No. No? Okay. All no. Right, well, let me continue here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is present what I'm talking about. Um, this is actually reported speech when we're using present tenses okay so that's why i have here the present when we're talking about the present we can have for example the simple present okay so if the person says i always drink coffee she, so it says i always drink coffee she said those are her exact words i always drink coffee that's exactly what she said now look at the verb here in what tense is this verb? What's the name of this tense? Simple present. Simple person. Exactly, simple present. And there's a little clue over here, right? Good. Simple present, I always drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's going to happen is, in order for you to understand that this is not my words, but her words and that it happened before like she said that in the past what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this tense to the past so if this tense is in the simple present what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to the simple past, past. exactly okay so you guys understand this let me okay so here I have 
this and this verb here drink which is in the simple past sorry simple present and what i'm going to do to change it to reported speech i'm going to change it the present to the past so it's not it's supposed to be originally the simple present now it's going to continue being simple but now it's going to be the past so i'm going to say she said that she always drank coffee does that make sense yeah any questions about that no. okay all right the same thing happens with the present continuous or present progressive you guys remember that it's the same thing so this sentence here i am reading a book he explained those are his exact words this verb here what is the name of this tense present continuous present continuous exactly right here it's the same thing and what I'm going to do to make it into the past, I am going to change the, I'm going to put it, so I'm going to keep the, the, the present part. Okay. I'm going to keep it the present. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, let me erase that. I'm going to keep the continuous part. Okay. But what I'm going to simply do is change. If I'm in the present, now I'm going to change the present to the past okay but i'm keeping the continuous form so i'm going to say he explained that he was reading a book does that make sense see i'm reading changes to was reading yeah is that clear for everybody yes yes, yes it does Anybody have questions? No. Like they say at weddings, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> <laughs> For people. Okay, come on guys, don't worry. You can ask me questions if something is not clear. This is the moment to ask. Okay. All right. Yeah. It, honestly, I think it's quite straightforward. Like if you think about it, basically the only thing we're doing is changing the present to the past. So this uh -huh. is simple. This is continuous being simple. You're just changing the present to the past. The same thing here. Continuous, continues like this in Spanish, uh -huh. valga la redundancia. Continuous, continues being continuous. And all you're doing is changing the present to the past. That's sim as simple as that. Uh -huh. Okay yeah okay let me erase this so that we can go on to the next slide that's about the present uh tenses or better so yeah the present form um let's look now at the past okay so i'm going to now move to my next slide Okay. All right. Okay. So this one has a little bit more tenses or yeah, more exercises, let's say. And the only reason why it does, um, we're having more tenses is because, uh, with the, with the past forms, we sometimes include also the present and you'll see why in a moment. Okay. So the same thing here has, uh, I'm going to go a little bit faster on this one because I think you you might have gotten the idea here. Um, so in this one, Bill arrived on Saturday. He said, "Arrived is in one in what form?" That's perfect. Arrived is in what form? Simple, simple past. past. Simple past. Very good. Okay. Simple past. Now, the thing about the simple past is it's already in the past, right? We can't, so 
we can't let's say uh put another and we can't go further back because the past is already the past but what structure can we call the past of the past what culture what structure or what what what, what, tense? what is the past of the past past perfect exactly yeah so the past of the past let me write keep that here So the past of the past is that, okay? So if you want to take the past of the simple past, it's the past, it's the past perfect. So if you notice now, what I'm going to say is instead of saying Bill arrive on Saturday, I'm going to say a, let me see. He said that Bill had arrived on Saturday. So the simple past changes to the past perfect. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Any questions? No. Okay. All right. So. The same thing happens here with the present perfect. Now you're asking yourself, why is this a pre why is this um, the present perfect when we're talking about the past? Well, because the present perfect is one of those structures that we that we can include in the past because what the present perfect does is that it's connecting the past to the present. So that's why we can include it in past forms. So the same thing here says, I have been to Spain. He told me, um, I have been to Spain. That means that, um, this is going to be in the in the present perfect form and we're going to keep the perfect form. And all we're doing is changing the present to the past. Simple as that. Sounds good. And we end up with had been. So this one is have been, which is because have is in the present, and this is had been because had is in the past. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, great. Uh the same now, this look at this one. This one's actually something very interesting. What happens here? Past perfect we have here had just turned out that's the past perfect but if you notice it says i had just turned out the light he explained and this one says he explained that he had just turned out the light so if you notice this is exactly the same as this one and the reason why they're exactly the same is because the past perfect is already as far back in the past as you can go so really you hit a wall you hit a wall like it's like literally when you when you when you are in a room and you touch the wall you can't go any further back si ya, ya se to, to, topo la pared ya no puede seguir más atrás ¿verdad? Oh, oh, so, aunque usted quiere dar el paso para atrás Pero ya pego a la, a la pared, ya no se puede dar más pasos para atrás. So that's the thing, that's what happens with the past perfect. Okay? You hit the wall, let's say, and that's why you can, it continues being the same. So that's, so this one's easy. Past perfect stays the same. Sounds good? Yes, sounds um, good, teacher. Any questions? Uh, no. We have to make exercise. Of course, yeah, definitely. Remember, this is just a theory, okay? And then you go into the platform, you do the exercises, and then 
we can come back and do some more exercises in class tomorrow. I'm just want, I just want you to understand the theory here, okay? All right, now this is the same thing here. Uh, present perfect continuous. We're gonna we're going to keep the present perfect continuous part here. Have been waiting. That's the present perfect continuous. We're gonna keep that part. You know, so we're gonna keep that part. And what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna change the present to the past. That part's gonna change. So instead of saying have been waiting. We're going to say had been waiting because had is the past of have. Okay. And finally, the last one, let me just, I'm going to move my thing here. Okay. And the second, the last one here, notice it says the past continuous. I'm going to keep the same part here of the continuous, which is the living part. Okay. I'm going to continue. I'm going to have it here. But remember, just like this, the, the past of the past is the past perfect. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to change the past to the past perfect. Because the past of the past is the past perfect. So we're going to say, had been living. That's the past perfect continuous. Does that make sense for everybody? Why I'm going to keep the same? I'm going to keep the same continuous part here and then I'm going to change the past. I'm going to I'm going to change the part of the past to make it past perfect. So, acuérdense que el pasado del pasado, digamos, es el past perfect. Sounds good? Yes. Yes. Questions at this moment? No. No. Okay, all right, let me just quickly erase this and we're going to look at the last slide. What do you guys think is going to be the next slide about? Future. Yeah, very good, exactly. We've seen the present, we saw the past. Now it's time for us to see the future. And actually, there's not there's not that much to see about the future. Let's see it. Okay, here it is. Okay, the future. Okay, so the future. Of course, remember that there are different types of futures, but uh, we're just gonna see two in this moment. Uh, the one that is most common is using will, right? Okay. So this is the most common one using will. Now my question is, what is the past of will? What is the past of will? Will is a model auxiliary. So what's the past of will? Old. Exactly. Very good. The past of will is right here. Would. Okay. There you go. And that's why will be becomes would be. So it says, I will be in Geneva on Monday, he said. Changes to, he said that he would be in Geneva on Monday. Sounds good, everybody? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. And the last one, which is the future continuous, I'm going to keep the continuous part, just like in the other cases. I'm going to continue that with that. So I'm going to say future continuous, I'll be, she said, I'll be, I'm sorry, let me change, let me erase that, there you go. So I'll be using the car next Friday. I'm going, instead of saying I will be, I'm just simply going to say I would be, because we know that the past of will, which is used is uh, represented by the apostrophe LL, changes to would. Sounds good? 
Yeah. Questions before anything? So for the present condition now, uh, wood, in the case of wood, it will be the same wood. I mean, it will be the... Yes, yes, when we're using... the other side. Exactly, that's, that's a very good observation and you're absolutely right, Josue. Uh, when we, when in this, in the, right, in the direct speech, we use wood, this is going to be continuing as wood as well. It's just the same situation with the past perfect that you hit the wall, right? Ya no se puede hacer para atrás. Wood, the past of, I mean, you can't have a past of wood. Wood is wood. Okay? Yeah, that's a very good observation. What about other um, model auxiliaries like can? What's the past of can? Cool. Sorry? Cool. Cool. Could. Exactly. Good. Could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the past of must? This one's a tricky one. Anybody must. know? Must. The past of must. Might. Must. Like if I say you must May. do something. It's actually the passive must is had to. Okay, had to. So you got to be careful a little bit with the with the model auxiliaries when find out what is the pass of the model auxiliaries. Uh, but yeah, in general, that's it. Okay, and then model auxiliary like have to changes to had to, right? Okay, and so on. All right, so that's it, guys. Those are the structures there. What do you guys think? Any questions that you have? Homework for tomorrow? <laughs> good question. <laughs> good, good question. It was a good explanation with the matrix that you built. Sorry, what was that, Josue? Uh, I just said that it was a good explanation with the matrix that you built. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you you thought so. I'm glad I could I could help you. Um, yeah, it's actually reported speech um, is one of those topics that many people get confused by, but it really in the end it's actually not that difficult if you understand that everything just goes back, right? If you understand what is the past of something. It should be easy, okay? So um, what I will do is I will give you, I'm going to send you in the WhatsApp group, I will send you some um, sentences with direct speech so that you can change it to the reported speech. Remember, always going back, okay? Sounds good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Well, that will be all for today. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, okay see you tomorrow. Please. All right, take care, take care. guys. Bye -bye. Enjoy, Bye -bye. enjoy Bye -bye. your your payday or the rest of <laughs> the rest <laughs> is not like this long, you know, it just lasts like my one day and then all their money is gone. <laughs> okay, all right, guys, take care. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Thanks, you too.